basically disturb the civilization, cut off communication, get everybody into a mass uproar, and then obviously you got to destroy the power grid. Right. I mean, that seems like something very simple, you know? Right. That's why. It's a believable movie. I just, it just wasn't, they should have took a little more time with it, I think, you know? But they say that the people that produced the movie, you know, they were, oh, well, Obama must know something. Obama must know something. I know. Brother. That's the whole thing. Yes. <laughs> that's the whole Why would he know something? He was a president. I mean, he's seen all of it. He's seen all of the stuff behind the scenes. Mm-hmm. That's true. He knows all that. He got intel. That's true. So. That's just so what... You should check it out, though, Bob, because it was good. I liked it. I, I did. I mean, no one see everyone talks about like the end time stuff, which is important, right? But the the overt, the covert, she wasn't even called the overt racism of Julia Roberts, and it was just so blatant, like in, in your face. Um, I like that added element to it because nobody really see because the movie was about like the end times. Everybody was hyper focused on that. I don't even know if I've never really seen any video mention anything about how racist she was because there's a blood so she i obviously she um did like an airbnb that's what it oh. seemed like yeah, yeah but the exactly. home it was a really really nice home they had a pool in the yard big house whatever like in the country of new york like the countryside part it's long, um, island. long oh long island that's where they were really yep oh and the home belonged to a black family like a black well a black family yes mother yeah Father, but the people that came to the home, so they ended up coming back to the home. The black man and his daughter came back to the home. He knew something, like he had information from before. Remember, that's why Jason, I was saying this was happening before. Yeah. Because the black man knew about he he they would they somebody warned him, and I guess like some inner circle, and he didn't really want to like talk about it and get into it and get. But he but anyways, Julia Roberts was very very racist towards him. She did not believe that they owned that home. She kept saying like, "How could you live here? <laughs> like, you basically you're black. You don't live here." And it was crazy. It was it was I was just like, "Oh, she is real racist," and nobody is like saying anything. Like the father is just. I don't know. He was. Just I mean, the, the the daughter caught on to it. Well, the daughter knew, and she was like, "Yeah, watch it. Calm down." Yeah, she was calling her out, type of thing. And then it was weird, like the sexual tension between who though? Both oh, between of them, like Julia the, Roberts and the, and the father. Julia Roberts and the dad. Yeah. And then Ethan Hawke and the daughter. I didn't like, get that. I didn't get that part. I, I didn't think that was no sexual. I didn't see that though. Okay, you're right. The daughter said it. She said something like, yeah. "Oh, he's trying to hit on me." What I more so saw was he was just a scared. I think he more of a pansy. Not trying to be funny, but like yeah. I feel like he was just a softer type of male, and he was just like, yeah, and he you was know, just trying to conversate. And he's a isn't he like a college professor? So he's used to younger exactly audience students. Yeah, and so I, I didn't let me not say, but the sexual tension between Julia Roberts and the dad, I really did not understand because he was married. I mean, I guess maybe he was like, but- my wife is dead. She wanted that BBC. She wanted that you know BBC. What? Okay. <laughs> but but you know, but in movies, in every movie nowadays, that's all they. You know what I'm saying like they put. They always gotta throw that in there, man. The they interracial. Always, yeah, they, every single movie, yeah. man. And commercials. Movie, yes. Yep. So are you gonna watch that um magic movie? Magic Mike. No, 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 no. This oh, is oh, no, that's 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 Y'all that. are annoying. Y'all get on my nerves. I, I have to find. There's this. The Magical Society of Black of Negro something something. Oh yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch that. I'm gonna watch that. Are yeah. you gonna watch it? I'm gonna watch that. Because it's about Bob. Have you seen the the, no, ad, no. Like the advertisement? Now what is that again? Wait, I think I might have seen something. But what what is Basically, it? Basically, there are these magic users. Like this, it's a African American club of magic users or whatever. Witch, but wizards. their job. Oh, you said a witches. Witches and wizards, basically. Yes, yeah. witches and wizards. But their job is basically to um. Like, make white people happy, right? Save white people, yeah. Save white people. And I saw so many mixed reviews on the internet about this movie, but I'm like, I want to watch it because I want to see what the heck is going on. And the the, the protagonist, the, the main character, I guess, ends up falling for one of the... The white girl, right? Isn't that what's... You, know what what, you see what I'm saying, man? Yeah. <laughs> 
every yeah. single movie. This is it's getting ridiculous. I mean, I don't have a problem. It's not that I have. I don't have an issue with it, but it's just like it's too much. It's like it's, it, it becomes an agenda. It's like it's it's an agenda. Exactly. And like, so. I mean, yeah, yeah, but I mean, isn't that the isn't that's just literally what television and commercials? That's really what they are. Agendas it's, like it's programming. Next, yeah. Right. Facts. I mean, not you know, I I don't want to get into that. No, I was gonna talk about like, you know how Sesame Street has a, a um, is he a one of the puppets is like gay or trans oh, or which, something? Which, which one? Elmo? It's a newer no no, no. Oh, okay, it's a newer okay. it's a newer puppet and I but it's just how like I don't know. I always try to be sensitive, right? You know what I do for work. My mm. my job is what I do, and I and I, I love everyone, but I almost I almost think, do we are we adding this stuff into educate like children's educational videos to teach them about the world around them, or like you said, is this an agenda, right, to mm. for them to become more sensitive? Because I didn't, I don't think I knew about quote unquote homosexuality until I was uh, old enough to understand. Yeah relationships exactly you know I what know, i'm saying i know nothing about gay until i was like seven or whatever like i'm saying like i heard it right, my like son. right like my son if my son is 18 months i mean he doesn't necessarily like sesame street but do i really want him to be that confused i mean my my kids were already confused you know i mean we have family members that are um in a lesbian relationship. And you know, they ask questions and I'm very straightforward. This is what it is. This is what's going on or whatever. And they are, they love my family. They love them. So it's no, 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 no issue, but it's just like, I mean, I don't have a problem with it, but I know that there are a bunch of people that have a problem with having to explain it. I feel like it prepares them enough for the world because the world is, the world is just gonna smack them in the face now because it's so much stuff. But when you were seven, the world wasn't as crazy as it was now that exactly. my son is seven. Exactly. It, you know what I'm saying? So it wasn't as prevalent either. Like you didn't see a lot of like gays around. You see right. like pockets of it or whatever. And you'd be like, oh, mom, what's what's going on with that? And your right. mom be like, Oh, she she'll tell you something, but you you it still never registered like that. Right. Oh, you like it's like everywhere you turn, like you know what I'm saying? It's like man, like it's crazy. But is it a I'm right. So that's why I'm like, it feels like an agenda, right? Like it feels like it's not it's, it's not that it feels. It, it, it is. is. <laughs> it's, a, it's definitely an agenda, man. It's an agenda. Yeah. It's it's, whatever is working. It is. It really is. To the point where it's almost scary because um, like I said, I have no judgment against anyone. But when the gender roles, quote unquote, get skewed, right? And women can no longer own breastfeeding or can't own, because now it's called chest feeding because you want to be respectful. What? I'm not calling it that. Nah, nah, no, I would never. Nah, nah, and I'm not, and I'm not nah, trying to. No, we got to shut that down. <laughs> we we got to shut that completely down because, because I'm, to yeah. me, like, you know, <laughs> that. That's the, the, trans, the trans man or woman that, is like, well, I'm a woman too, but you're a trans woman, right? Like, there's a difference. Just like there's a difference because I'm a black woman. And it kind of reminds me of I don't see color, mm -hmm. that type of yeah. thing. Like, you're, you're. I hate that. It's nonsense. I hate that with a passion because it's why nonsense. don't you see my color? What does that even mean? Exactly. Am I gray? Yep. Like, I, I, that bothers me. But that's kind of what this whole. Um, with the trans community wanting to be inclusive and just not, and just, I guess drop the whole far, first part of the trans and just be, oh, well, I'm a woman as much as you are a woman. But no, not really. Your hormones in your body are literally what your hormones in your body are until you have to replace them and you have to keep replacing, keep taking this hormone in order to keep whatever other hormones you were actually born with or you know what or what other whatever natural hormones are produced in your body and so i just felt like like i said i'm not against any one in the trans community but let me have my womanhood because i am a woman you know what and, and i don't want to be like 
oh, well, you don't get to own the rights of breastfeeding, but I do because I can actually produce milk in my breast and I feed my child. If you want to chest feed, keep that term. But don't make me have to change the term to chest feeding because to be sensitive to you. <laughs> chest feed. Chest feed. This is this is crazy, man. Let's get out of hand. Let's get out of hand. Like, and so I, I just who are you feeding with your chest? Like what 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 baby? So there is so when there is a way that men, just yeah. men in general, can chest feed a child. So yeah. a lot of breastfed babies need that skin to skin contact, right? And so the dad would strap like a nipple type thing. It's a whole thing. Yeah. So um, contraption. And I they can. Yeah, Whatever. But chest feeding, you can have coming? that term, but don't. To, man. It's, what is it's just, coming to? Man? The world is changing. Nah, man. Nah, man. It's, it's Get America, ready. Yo. The next it's thing you may not know. It's true. Let me tell you something. And my. Listen. I'll be like, God, what's going to be next? We about to have some aliens come and and want to be a part of this, too? Oh, wait a minute. What about Miami? What happened to Miami? You ain't hear about that? Oh, yeah, no. yeah. That, that, that alien. What happened in Miami? Bob, so what happened in Miami? She don't know. Um, I, I mean, I didn't... I, I, I skimmed through it, but it was like it was like a alien sighting or something? Like, so uh, some tall, a tall being or something like that? There's a bunch right. of them, a few of them. A few of them. Did you see the one with the... So what's the one with the the man, the visage in the sky? Like, did y'all see that one? Yeah, that's what I... I saw an image of it. I I, I didn't actually see the uh, actual... Because it's they have a lot on TikTok, and I'm like, well, what is it? Like, what was it? It was like this huge face. Yeah. Look oh, like you the, mean next to the moon? The one next to the moon? Yeah. Like that, what yeah. was that one? Yeah, that, that was something different. But what was it? I have no clue. A prop? Yeah, I, I looked at the image. I thought it was just like a uh, CGI. Some, some, some photos. Yeah, some Photoshop, yeah. some artificial. Something. I don't know because several people. So I've seen an actual video and I've seen several videos. Yeah. And several people had different, you know, angles. different uh, angles of it. Um, I don't know. This is, listen, there's so many conspiracies. So much is going on out there. Like, we no, don't I, I, got a, I got a conspiracy for you too um, later okay. on. I'm about to bring it up. Okay. Crazy. Y'all, y'all ain't gonna, y'all, I know y'all ain't gonna believe me, but it is what it is, man. I, so you, 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 gotta, you gotta say it. Say it right now. I gotta say it right now? Just drop it, yo. Drop I, that. I, I, I'm, I'm just gonna drop it, man. No, 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 no. I wanna hear it, man. I wanna hear it. All right, yo, yo. I, I think my dad's house was, I think my dad's house was haunted. That's what I, that mean? That's all I'm gonna say, man. It, it, the one I'm gonna oh, well, you don't, that's not, that's not a conspiracy. Like, do you believe in, like, spirits? Um, yeah. I mean, yeah, because I see, I done seen shit. You know what I'm saying? So like I right, I was sleep right I was sleep in the I was sleep in the rec room or whatever in the in the basement basically um and I heard like I was I heard like footsteps coming down the stairs so like I like I woke up or whatever you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. and you know how normally you have like sleep paralysis where you can't move and shit like that I hate that I I I didn't have that I I, I could move and all that shit and then like I seen like I seen like um something past something past the bed or whatever. Like it was like it it was invisible, but like it like fl- something flashed or whatever. Like, it was like mm-hmm. I was like, what? It, it looked like a woman. It looked like a woman in a gown. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh hell no, man. Nope. Did you yeah. leave? Hey, I I seen that shit, man. I saw that shit for real, real yeah. life. I believe you. Listen, when my grandmother, 